Um, we're going to have uh, several speakers here tonight, um, and I am pleased to welcome the first speaker to the stage, who is our Lieutenant Governor, um, Sabina Matos. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out tonight and show support for abortion rights here in the state of Rhode Island. Thank you for all of you that are here to show that we are not going to stand for this, that we know and we know for sure that abortion is health care and there are people's lives that are dependent on that. So thank you for being here. I would like to say I'm going to be, I'm on support of Senator Goodwin and also of Rep. Williams bill to extend the Medicare right, uh, the right care for postpartum coverage for a year. I'm also in support of Senator Balberdi and Rep. Casars for their bill to extend abortion coverage to state employees and women enrolled in the Medicare program. Only Rhode Island and in New Hampshire, as I was just um, correct, uh, informed, are the only states in, in New England that don't do this. So we have to make sure that we get that coverage. I also want to call on the state leaders, both the General Assembly uh, members, the leadership, a speaker, the senator, and also uh, the Senate president, and also governor, the governor, to work together to enact these two bills and also to amend our budget to extend this fundamental human right to the women in our state, especially our most vulnerable people. I'm confident that Rhode Island can become a national leader for reproductive rights at a time when the reprodu reproductive rights is under attack. And I want to take this moment also, I want to thank um, the senators that took the fight and the state rep members that took the fight to make sure that, that we codify uh, abortions right here in the state of Rhode Island. And I want to mention, um, because I just saw a tweet from her that she's actually in DC, Senator Goldwyn and the work that she did uh, together with the rest of the Senate members that worked really hard. I was glad to work with my colleagues in the Providence City Council at that time to make sure that we send uh, a support, uh, we send a resolution in support of the bill, uh, but the hard work that the members of the Senate, many of them here present, you're gonna hear from them, and also the state, uh, the, the state reps member that work really hard to make that possible. That's why we, we can rest a little bit more, with more peace here in the state of Rhode Island, knowing that in Rhode Island, that is the law. But we have to think about the, the other states in which there's gonna be people that, just like me, that don't have any resources, that cannot travel to another state to get an abortion. It's really hard when someone makes a decision to, make a, to, to go and, and get an abortion. It's not a decision that is made lightly. I have sat with friends that have to, uh, to make this decision. I have to go through the process Listen, listening to them about how they go about making this decision. This is not a decision that is made lightly, but this is a decision that has to be made between a woman and her doctor. That's it. Politics shouldn't be there. Thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Um, I also want to say that here at the Woman Project, we don't um, endorse individual candidates, but we do endorse policies. And one policy that we are endorsing um, as the Woman Project this year is the Equality and Abortion Coverage Act. Yes. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, the Equality and Abortion Coverage Act is an act that would prevent the, that would allow for the coverage of abortion for state employees, folks who have health insurance through their state employee health insurance plan, and for folks on Medicaid. As of right now, if you are a state employee or if you are on Medicaid, you don't have full access to abortion because your health insurance doesn't cover it by law. We are fighting to change that. 
because the right to abortion isn't real until it's real for everybody. Because we know that these bans on health care, these bans on insurance coverage, they don't affect people of means. They don't necessarily affect folks who can fly across the country or who have $1,000 in their pocket at any moment for a health care procedure. But it's the folks who need this coverage the most, the folks who have the least ability to pay that are affected the most by these awful racist laws. And we're going to change that here in the state of Rhode Island. And I also want to make sure that every elected official that speaks here tonight and every elected official that is watching this from anywhere and every elected official that's here um, in the crowd, we're going to hold you accountable to that. We are giving you a platform to speak tonight because if you are, um, if you feel like this issue is vitally important, then we want to give you a platform to speak about it. But we're gonna hold you accountable. We can't. You can't just make promises and then not deliver. So we're gonna listen to what they say and then be, they'll be accountable for what they do. So. So if you want to follow the, um, uh, the Equality in Abortion Coverage Act, um, you can visit our website. It's stopabortionbansri.org to follow our campaign.